It was the year 2000, exactly one month before Google AdWords began. It was the month and the day of one of the greatest American tragedies. I was 21 years old, or 20 years old at that time, living in a busted up, dirty mobile home with some drug addicts, waiting for my girlfriend to come back from San Francisco after having our baby. Before now, my wife and I, or before my wife and I met, I was a preacher. Yeah, I was actually a street preacher. Not just any preacher, but a fire and brimstone open air street preacher. And the evangelist that I worked with back then had asked me to run an ad to get traffic to the gospel on seven search and go to search engines, the popular search engines of those times. We got over 15,000 visitors that day for about five cents per click. And that was the first paid ad I ever ran. Now, I didn't know at that time that this was gonna lead to a lot of success and a lot of ads that I ran. Now, my beliefs and my preaching style has changed quite a bit since then, but I want you to understand this because back in that day, pay-per-click advertising was brand new. Now, we know about it as commonplace. Google makes hundreds of billions of dollars and we know how it works. So what we're going to do in this training is we're going to talk to you about my 21 year journey with paid advertising. I think this is very important because we're going to go through and we're going to show you exactly how this stuff works. We're going to talk to you one on one and show you, hey, what do you need to know to get traffic for cheap and for free? on the search engines. Now, this is primarily going to be about paid traffic. Today's lineup is going to be very in detail. We're gonna go through everything step by step. We're gonna talk to you about some stories, one of which is when I ran a paid ad back in 2006, which was one of my first paid ads I ran to an affiliate offer, and one of the ads I ran back in 2002. And we're also gonna talk to you about some of the ads that I'm running today, so you can see exactly what's going on and how this works on a broad scale. Now. This this is going to be kind of like paid courses. So like, you know, you spend a thousand dollars and you go to a course. What you're going to learn here is some of the stuff that you would learn in paid courses. So I want you to get your notebook out. I want you to pay attention. I want you to subscribe and I want you to smash that like button if you're ready to go. This is going to be a very detailed training. We are going to go through six different parts and we have lots of notes to go over. If you would like a copy of the notes that I'm using with some other stuff, make sure you go to downloadmynotes.com. Very important. Now, today's lineup, what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about six different parts. One fact people don't know about me is I used to have six fingers. When I was born, I had 12 fingers, six on each hand. So I got to do this now. But at any rate, we're good to go, right? Uh, these six parts, we're gonna go through part number one, the benefits of buying traffic. Why should you buy traffic? How does it work? Is it risky? How much should you invest? What do you expect? Part number two, we're gonna go through the top paid traffic sites to use. Now, there's some secret sites we're gonna talk about here that other people don't talk about. These are ones that can get you a lot of traffic really, really, really fast. Part number three, we're gonna talk to you about how to make paid traffic work. This is important. A lot of people disagree with me on this, and you know, me and my wife disagree on this all the time. I look at paid traffic as an investment. I look at everything I put into my business as an investment. Now, some of you guys out there are gonna look at it as an expense. This is key number one. Paid traffic should never be an expense, ever. It should be an investment. If you're not making money, you should not spend the money on the traffic. Hence, it shouldn't be an expense. It should be a growing investment. Part number four, we're gonna talk about how to pre-qualify your visitors and sell more. Part number five, we're gonna talk about landing pages that work on paid traffic. And part number six, we're gonna go through the 300 click test, how to scale and grow and how to test your market literally within hours. So if you're ready, type ready in the box, type ready in the comments down below. And we're gonna talk about how to use paid traffic because here's the idea, right? If I could get traffic for four cents a click as it says up here, which you can see in this screenshot, if I zoom in a bit on this one account, I have tons of accounts like this. I spent over $1.4 million on paid traffic. Now, if you do the math, 35.4 million views, $1.4 million, it's about four cents a click average, 
all right? This stuff works. If you go through it and you focus and you know what your visitor wants, this is very important. So you're gonna wanna pay close attention here. Again, we have to take a look at this. We have to understand exactly what's going on. So get ready. Again, downloadmynotes.com is where we're gonna have the notes. Now, let's go ahead and dive right in. Part number one, the benefits, and I gotta plug in my little pen here so we could do some screen sharing and show you how all this works. Part number one, the benefits of buying traffic. Let's see if this will plug in here. I think it will. There we go. All right, the benefits of buying traffic. First of all, you might look at this and a lot of people come to me and they're like, Marcus, how do I get fra traffic for free? And I'm like, okay, traffic for free is good. I've gotten hundreds of millions of visitors, probably over a billion visitors for free, but there's a unique advantage to paid traffic. There's several unique advantages. So we're gonna talk about the benefits of buying traffic to your site. Now, first and foremost, disclaimer, Whenever you're buying something, there is a risk. You could lose money. I've made some ads that lost money. Now, seven to eight out of 10 usually make money and the ones that lose, lose like 50 bucks. I shut them off if I see that they're not working. But you gotta understand this because you need to understand this as a business. All right, you put two cents in, you get four out, you're profitable. You put two cents in, you get one out, you get nothing, right? So we gotta look at this and we gotta look at the numbers. If you don't like math, either get a calculator or learn to like math. And in the Simple Sites course, we actually have calculators that do all this for you. So here are the benefits to buying traffic. Number one, it's fast and easy. The story I told you at the beginning where we took advantage of a market that had a lot of traffic, right? We got that right away. Now, would I do that today? No, my beliefs are different. I don't work for that guy anymore. I don't agree with the guy anymore. I was a stupid young kid that didn't know what he was doing. But we got lots of traffic and it wasn't, we weren't doing anything weird. We weren't even making money. We were just pointing people to a page that shared our certain beliefs, okay? So what I learned there is that it was fast. I literally put an ad up and within five minutes, we started getting visitors, okay? So that was like, wow, wait a minute. So paid traffic, I could get traffic in five minutes. Like I could literally go into my Google AdWords keyword tool, right, like this, and I could buy traffic right now and I could be on Google. Like you say, hey, how long does it take to do this? Well, you could be up right away. People come to me all the time. They say, Marcus, how long does it take to make money? Well, my record was 13 minutes, right? From the time I actually bought a domain, set up a site, yes, you could do this right away, and actually got my first profitable dollar was 13 minutes. Now, is that gonna happen to you? Probably not. Most likely, no. Right, I've been doing this for 21 years. I know what to look for, I know what to do. That's why my coaching is valuable. So we gotta look at this. So, first and foremost, traffic, paid traffic is fast and easy. I don't have to do SEO, I don't have to wait, I could do this with a brand new site right now, right here, get traffic today. Number two, paid traffic is unique because it's super targeted and pre-qualified. All right, when I go to the search engines and I rank for something for free, the search engine decides what to put as the title, what to put in the description, and who to show it to. All right, so I might be getting people in Timbuktu, India, China. I might be getting people all over the place that might not be able to buy the products and services that I want. Now, when I go to paid traffic, I could go to Google and I could say, hey, Google, I only want people in Los Angeles. I only want people in Orange County, Florida. I only want these people. I only want people who make this much money. I only want guys who like football or whatever it is. And I could target exactly who I want. Now, one of the things you need to understand about paid traffic is you are in charge. You're in charge. People, oh, Marcus, uh, traffic's too expensive. Well, who's in charge of that? You are. You set what you wanna bid and what keywords you want to bid on. So if you think it's too competitive and too expensive, it's because you're not doing your homework. And this is what most people do. They go out there and they're like, Marcus, okay, I'm gonna do paid traffic here. And I'm gonna go over to my Google Keyword Planner, right like this. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna type in weight loss, weight loss. And they're gonna do this here like this on the Google Keyword Tool. And they're gonna say, wow, you know, Marcus, this is pretty competitive. It's $1.82, $3 a click. There's no way I could do this. I only get 30 bucks when I sell something, so I gotta sell one out of every 10 people. That's not gonna happen. So if you're losing money on paid traffic, it's because you're doing what everyone else is doing. I'm gonna say this and I want you to write it down. 
paid traffic works at the right cost. And when it's easy, when it's like go to weight loss and bid on weight loss and send them to a weight loss offer, what happens is because it's so easy, it's going to gravitate towards break even. And the only people making money are going to be the people who know what they're doing and know their back end numbers. Plain and simple. You can't compete with them. You think you're sitting there in your office and you're like, I'm going to compete with, you know, rocket finance. No, you're not. Sorry. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But can I go and find keywords for three to five cents in the same market? Yes. Wait, we got to zoom in. Got to make this dramatic. Yes, you can. And on this training, you're going to learn it. Going to learn it. Got to pay attention. Next. You have the unique ability with paid traffic to customize your market, who you're reaching, and your message, what you say. Very important. Number four, you set the limits and the cost per click. Like he said, oh, okay, Marcus, I'm going to lose a bunch of money. Well, you only lose money if you put money in. I'll give you a story. Years ago, a buddy of mine who actually ended up stealing a multi-million dollar site from me. That's right. I had a multi-million dollar site. He cloned it. He went and made money. I got really mad, but then I found out I made a couple hundred grand off of his site because I was a sub affiliate and I wasn't that mad. But at any rate, this guy, we were hanging out back when I, I used to drink. I'm seven year, almost seven years sober now. Um, and he made these mojitos that tasted like old spice cologne. And I was like, dude, you don't know how to make a drink. And we drank these mojitos and then we went to the restaurant. But before we went to the restaurant, we decided to run some ads and we go into our Google account. And we're like, yeah, we're going to run some ads. And I ran an ad and I put 10 cents a click. And I'm like, let's see how much money we make while we're at dinner. And I was excited. I'm like, this is cool. Now, what I didn't know and what he didn't know at the time is those mojitos were actually really bad for him mentally because they clouded his judgment and his ability to see and type on the keyboard. And so what he did while well, I typed in 10 cents a click, he typed in $10 a click. And because he was a big ad runner, his daily cap was at like $100,000 a day. So we went, had a nice hibachi dinner. They cooked. We had fun. We had some more drinks. And we came home. And we came home, and I actually made like 30, 50 bucks or something like that. And he logged into his account, and he forgot that he put $10 instead of 10 cents. And he actually spent about $3,000 on traffic for a site that only made like 12 cents a click. So he lost a bunch of money like that. Why? Because he wasn't smart. So you got to remember with paid traffic, buy traffic sober, first of all. Number two, you set the limit. If you don't want to spend more than five bucks a day, you put $5 a day. When it gets to $5 a day, the ad shuts off. Starts again the next day. If you don't want it to start the next day, you hit the pause button. Pretty simple. So if you lose lots of money in paid traffic, it's because you're not paying attention and you're not being focused. Number five, yes, five, <clears throat> with paid traffic, you have the ability to send your visitors to a specific landing page. Now, this is different from SEO. SEO, I gotta please the search engines, they gotta like me, they gotta rank me, so I need content. Lots of content, gotta write the content. All right, now content doesn't always sell. Right? Sometimes I'm like, hey, guys, you want to download this thing? Click the big button so I can make money. Okay? I'm like, hey, there we go. Really simple. Okay? And I went through and I'm like, hey, this is how this works. We're going to make it happen. And I could send my visitors to a specific landing page that just had the thing that I wanted. Right? Very important. Again, if you guys want the notes, I know we're going over a lot of stuff. We'll probably be here about 90 minutes. If you're serious about paid traffic, you're going to hang out for 90 minutes. Right? I had a guy the other day, and he's like, Marcus, I'm in a different country, and your webinars are at 3 a.m. for me. And I'm like, hey, man, when I started the business, there was a webinar at 3 a.m. that I needed to see. I got up at 3 a.m. and I saw it. Why? Because this is a business. This ain't the playground. We go out there. We're going to make money with this. Treat it like a business. If you're spending your money, you got to focus. Now, can this be simple? Sure, absolutely. This could be very simple, right? Like the lottery site. You guys saw the lottery site or the football site. I set these things up in 45 minutes and boom, it made money. 
Very simple, okay? Uh, someone says, do you do solo ads? We're gonna get into that. That is part of paid traffic. So now let's go through and let's talk about part number two, which is the top paid traffic sites to use. Now, first and foremost, the 800 pound gorilla in the room is Google. Google runs like 80% of web traffic. And by web traffic, I don't just mean search traffic. They got like 90% of the search traffic, but they got 80% of the other traffic through the Google AdSense platform. Now, a lot of people think Google AdSense, yay, I put ads on my site and I make money. E, fun, great. But what they're not thinking is the fact that Google was very smart, right? They went through and they were like, hey, you know what? People out here are searching for all kinds of stuff. So we'll do like Lyft affiliate program. People are searching for this. And they're like, hey, Lyft gets traffic. This guy gets traffic. And even Marcus has some traffic down here. And what some guy at Google said is he said, hey, you know what? For this term, there's no advertisers. So on this term, guess how much money Google makes? Nothing. They don't make a dime. I click here. It doesn't cost anything. I click over here to Marcus's site, my site, doesn't cost anything. All right, there's no ads here. So it doesn't cost anything. Google doesn't make any money. Now, someone at Google was very smart back in 2003, three years after they opened AdWords, and they said, what if we allowed people to put ads on their sites and they get part of the money, right? So all these websites that are getting all this traffic from us, because you gotta go to Google to find the site, so like, yay, great, pat us on the back for finding sites, but we're not making money on it. What if we allowed them to put ads on their site? And so they did through the Google AdSense platform. And this is tip number two, the Google AdSense platform or the content network for us that are bidding on traffic is phenomenal for traffic. Because now instead of just getting search, I could be on all the websites that have content about the topic. And this, my friends, is how I made millions of dollars with paid traffic. And we gotta look at this and we gotta understand it. So Google AdWords is the 800 pound gorilla. Like if you crack that code, you can make a lot of money. But coming in number second by a neck, not a neck, probably like a couple of horses, but at any rate is Bing Ad Center. Okay, Bing does MSN, Bing, Yahoo, and a couple other smaller search engines. Okay, now let me ask you a question. Do you think Bing has enough traffic for everyone watching this call to make money? Do you think they do? Yeah, I do, right? Probably a couple thousand people will watch this call throughout the day. I think there's enough money on Bing for a couple thousand people to make a living. Okay? Again, you got to change your thinking because people think, oh, well, you know, it's not Google, so it's not going to make that much money, Marcus. You don't know what you're talking about, buddy. There's people making money on Bing. Got to get over your, your thoughts. You got to get over the ego of, of bidding on the stuff, and you just got to do it. Number three, Facebook. Facebook is a huge player. The whole way Facebook makes money is by running ads. That's how they make money. Same with Bing. Same with Google. They run ads. Who, who buys ads? Guys like me buy ads. Now, I'm not a big player. There's other people that spend hundreds of millions. I probably spend not that much, right? And so Facebook ads is huge. I can get in front of Facebook, whoever I want. Now, Google, Facebook, Bing, they got some rules. Got some rules. You can't just go on Facebook and run an ad for whatever the heck you want, right? You got to be ethical. You got to be on point. You can't be scammy. So you got to focus on it. We're going to talk about how to make this work because, again, everyone wants the easy way out. Look, I just want to copy an image like this guy said on YouTube and put it on Facebook and lead them to the scammy thing and make money. Okay, yeah, you could probably do that for like 10 minutes. That's cool, right? Whatever. It's not cool. Don't be scammy, right? But you could probably do that for 10 minutes, and then they'll shut your ad off, and you'll be, you know, uh, crying over there in the, in the side, right? So you got to look at that. So uh, next, we're going to talk about Facebook retargeting. Ah, retargeting. This is interesting. Did you know you can actually put a code on your website? And like, how many of you guys have done this, right? You go and you're looking at like new shoes or something, or you're gonna buy a gift for your wife and you guys share a computer or whatever. And she looks at the computer and all of a sudden the gift you were gonna buy is following her around the internet everywhere. And she's like, why am I getting all these ads for this thing that, you know, looks pretty cool. And it ruins the surprise and you're like, ah, shit, that sucks, right? What's happening is they're using a code on their website that Facebook says, hey, everyone who has a Facebook account who goes to this website, 
Now it's an audience that this guy can advertise to. That's why ads follow you around. Like, you ever feel like, you know, the, the search engines are watching what you're doing and Facebook's watching what you're doing? It's because they are watching what you're doing, right? They're, they're looking at it and they're like, okay, you visited this site, therefore you're going to like this. Okay, very important. Number four, very big. People do not pay attention to this because they look at the big ones that are easy and you go and get traffic. Contextual ad networks. Contextual ads make billions, and the rules are pretty simple, right? They're not as strict as like Facebook and Google and stuff like that. Now, some of the contextual ad networks you can use are Taboola, Outbrain, and again, if you want these notes, big red link at the bottom, Adblade, Rev Content, Bidvertiser, and we'll have more within the notes. Contextual ad networks are where you bid on a site. It's a website that gets traffic for a certain thing. It might be like, you know, a popular website like fail blog or something like that and they put these ads on and you could get the ads cheap you run a little display ad and boom you get traffic to your website super inexpensively and the name of the game is to have the right ad that gets the good amount of clicks that's going to reach the right amount of people with the right message and boom you win it's like a combination lock you get the lock number right which is your traffic your uh website and everything and boom everything goes through which is very simple okay so uh, Taboola, Outbrain, Adblade, Rev Content, Bidvertiser, these are all good pay-per-click um, and pay-per-impression uh, networks that you can use for contextual ads. Let me ask you a question. Google right now, I believe, according to Alexa, is the number one website in the world. That means, I, I think it is. Let, let's double check. Alexa.com and we'll do Google.com, right? just to check my math here, but they're usually like number one or number two. Okay, so according to Alexa, and then the lower the number is just better, right? So according to Alexa, yes, they're number one. Okay, so what this means is no other site on planet Earth, no other website in the history of websites gets more traffic than Google. Okay, but let me ask you a very important question. So Google gets most of the traffic, right? They get like four million searches a minute. Right, Four million people a minute go to Google and search for something. While we've been on this call, there's been 88 million searches done on Google. But let me ask you a question. Who gets more traffic, Google or all the other websites combined? Okay, I want you to answer it. It's kind of a trick question, but I want you to answer and I want to see where you're at. And I want to have an excuse to drink my coffee because I sound like an old frog. All right, who's having fun here? Okay, who gets more traffic? Google, number one traffic, or all the other websites combined? Good question here, okay? And we'll wait for some answers. I want you guys to really think about this, really ponder it, okay? Really, really ponder it. Okay, Gareth says Google. Okay, who else we got? Uh, Robert says all the other websites. Google meditation says, okay, if you said Google, we got a lot of them flying in. I got to remember this is on a 30 second delay, so I don't see those. If you said Google, you are, drum roll, incorrect. All the other websites get way more traffic than just one, one website. Okay, now think about that. This is important because contextual ads get a crap ton of traffic. I have literally bid on a search term on Google AdWords and gotten like 500 visitors a day. And then I take that same keyword and I bid on the content network and I get 20 million impressions a day. Okay, think about that. Think about that for a minute. Very important. And this is gonna start to click in your brain how to get the cheap traffic. Because here's the thing, on Google, it's probably like a dollar a click. On Content Network, it's probably like 10 cents or less. Very, very, very important. So you gotta focus. All right, next up, we have banner net ad networks, banner ads, not banner ads. Uh, banner ad networks like buy, sell ads. I can go buy a banner ad on buy, sell ads right now. Within a day or two, I'll be on their site. I buy banner ads all the time. People say banner advertising's dead. And I say, yeah, keep thinking that because I'm gonna buy all the banners that you don't wanna buy because they make money. But there's a secret to banner ads, and there's a secret to your ads, and there's a secret to making money with ads on your site. And the secret is, stop making your banner look like a banner. 
people get, oh, I'm going to make this banner and it's going to say this. And, you know, I saw AT&T did this. Yeah, well, AT&T has really deep pockets, really deep pockets. They got lots of money to waste on ads. They don't care. That's why they don't care. We are direct response marketers. I need a good ad that gets a direct response that makes people do stuff so I can get paid. Now, years ago, I was running a banner ad on the content network and the content network actually gives you a list of the sites that give you the most traffic. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. So you literally give me a list of the sites that give me the most traffic. And so back in 2008, I was running this ad and I figured out this secret that I still use today. It is awesome. And I downloaded the list of the sites and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. This one site is giving me like 2 million impressions a day. I like this. And so I go to the site and I'm like, hey, dude, you know what? Uh, I want to buy a banner ad on your site. And he's like, okay, $1,800 every two weeks. I'm like, okay, $3,600 a month, I'll do it. I buy the banner ad because I know how much traffic I'm buying and I know I'm spending $20,000 a month for the same traffic. So I go to him, I get the banner for $1,800, he's happy, I'm making a fortune, and that's how the cookie crumbles. This is why pay-per-click works, because people do not understand the value of traffic. They don't understand it. If you understand the value of traffic, you win. And I'm not talking about traffic like, oh, you know, money, refinance. Everyone knows the value of that traffic. That's easy. I'm talking about specific stuff. Very, very specific things people don't know. Like, what if I could bid on error code 05X01? What if I could bid on why isn't my computer booting up? What if I could bid on something specific? And people say, well, Marcus, if the computer doesn't boot up, how's he going to buy anything? Well, he might want data backup because if his computer doesn't boot, he doesn't want to lose his stuff. And computer data backup pays me like $500 a sale. And this traffic is dirt cheap. And that, my friends, I just showed you a niche that makes lots of money. Go ye forth and use it. It makes money. Obviously, results not typical and provide or guaranteed. I don't know what you're going to make. This is a business. All right, next up, we have direct media buys. You can actually do direct media buys on other sites. And you can do, um, like I did, right? You just go to them and, and buy the ad. You got the Google Content Network. And lastly, you have solo ads. People come to me all the time. Marcus, what do you think about solo ads? Solo ads, man, that's where it's at. Saw some guy making money with the solo ads. Well, solo ads are kind of tricky because what you're doing is you're paying for an email to get a certain amount of clicks. Okay, so I'm like, hey, I want 3,000 clicks. I'll pay $3,000. He'll send an email. I'll get the traffic. Now, this can be a gray area because you don't know where the traffic's coming from. You don't know if it's good. You don't know if they're using your email copy, right? If you're buying a solo ad, use, make sure you use your own email copy. Don't pay the guy unless you could use your own email copy. Trust me on this. I've been doing this for 21 years. Don't do the other stuff. Use your own copy because I don't want him to send an email that says, hey, click here to win a prize, and then I pay a dollar a click for people who click here to win a prize. Like, come on, man, that's not going to work. In the words of Joe Biden, come on, man, that ain't going to work. We got to go out there and we got to do this in a very, very simple way. Got to understand it, right? You need to start looking at this like a business. If you're going to get into paid traffic, you need to put on your marketer hat and you need to get ready to learn this stuff and do it and test. Again, if you want a list from all this, go to downloadmynotes.com. If you're enjoying this, smash the like button. Let's see if we get a record on how many people like this video. Let's see, that'll be kind of fun. And let's go for the comment record too. Comment, if you're learning something, comment below, tell me about it. All right, so next up, part number three, how to make paid traffic work. So we know we can get traffic from Google, Yahoo, Facebook, MSN, Bing, we can get it everywhere. And guess what? I've done it. When you're around 21 years, you pretty much try everything. You make it work. You focus. And you go from there. Okay? So, we got to focus and we got to look at it. So, part number three, how do we make this work? And I got a little picture of a guy with a funnel and some arrows. Because this is really the basics of what paid traffic is. Okay? This is what it is. Um, JB says, do you have to show your face in affiliate marketing? No, you don't. Nobody knew who I was till about eight, nine years after I had made lots of money in affiliate marketing. No one knew who I was. 
I would go to the marketing conventions. No one knew who I was. Now it's annoying. I don't go to them because I don't want people to recognize me. Kind of freaks me out sometimes, right? But we got to look at that and we got to focus and say, hey, this is what we're going to do. Now, with paid traffic, we got to go through and say, yes, what we're doing is we're funneling people out. Okay, so it's kind of like this. And let's see if I could find my pen here. Here it is, covered in ash. We'll get this here. All right, that's the problem when you have cigars while doing webinars is you get ash all over everything. Okay, so what we're doing here is we are going to take our stuff and we are going to funnel it out. So when we're doing this, we're going to go here and we're going to funnel it. So what you have here is you have all the people on the Internet and you're like, woohoo, all these people on the Internet. And we'll just do like times two billion Right? Because there's a lot of people on the internet. Now, what we need to do is we need to get people to raise their hand. That's what this is about. It's like in school, and you're like, hey, how many of you guys grew up in Fresno? And they raise their hand. How many of you guys are from old Texas? And they raise their hand, and you're like, there's the Texans, there's the Fresno people. And you're basically separating people based on where they're from, what they like, whatever. Okay? Now, the idea here is you don't just want everyone. Right? I, if I could pay one penny a visitor for everyone that's on the internet today, I probably wouldn't be able to make money. I, I, I just wouldn't. Even if it was a penny, it'd be very difficult. Actually, I could make money because I'd segregate them, but you got to understand. And segregate, I mean, like separate into mortgage people and whatever. Okay, but we got to look at this. So we're going to go through and we're going to say, I want people to raise their hand that want something. Okay, here's his hand. His hand is raised. And he's like, hey, dude. I got a creepy hand, but at any rate, I want to learn about mortgages or I want to learn about refinance or I want to learn about making money online or whatever. So you want to get him to raise his hand first by looking at your ad. Okay. Now, this is why pay-per-click is so, so profitable because you go through and you write an ad and you get to say what it says. So if I go for mortgages and I say, hey, you know what? I only get paid on people who spend a million dollars or more on their mortgage. I can make my ad say, mortgage, one million or more, click here. Guess what? Chances are people who have mortgages less than a million are not going to click. And when you're doing pay per click, which is defined as paying for a click, you only pay for the click. It's not copyright. It's a click, right? So you only pay for the click. So if the people see my ad, I don't pay for it till they click. This is very important because if you understand that, then what you're doing is you're funneling them out. So he is qualified when he clicks your ad. Or if you're selling a book, you know, maybe you're in the puppy training niche. You're like, hey, I got this book, this puppy training. So you say like puppy training book, pup train book, uh, $37. Okay, if they're not ready to pay $37 for a book, they're not going to click it. Okay, if they're looking for just free stuff, they won't click. So you can really qualify and separate who you want, which is important. Okay, uh, Someone said paper clips. I actually had a student of mine. This guy was like 70 years old years ago. And this guy, he wanted to make money online. And he came to me and he's like, I've tried everything and I struggled. And he got in our Simple Sites boot camp and I'm like, do this. And he started doing it. He's like, Marcus, I'm going to try those paper clips. And I'm like, no, it's clicks. And he never got it in his head. He always thought they were paper clips. And I'm like, paper clips? are at the office store, paper clicks are where we buy traffic. But this guy comes to me one day and he's like, dude, I tried this thing you said. The guy's like 70 years old, he was an engineer. He's just like, he couldn't get his head around it. And finally he runs this ad and he went in and he's like, dude, I'm making like eight grand a month on these paper clips. And I'm like, you're selling paper clips? He's like, no, 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 the Google paper clips. I'm like, oh, paper clicks. And he was actually kicking butt. Now, again, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The majority of people watching this training will never set up a paid ad. That's the fact. I'm entertaining, whatever. But most of you guys are never going to do this stuff. I have people that come to me and they never try anything. And they're like, why doesn't it work? You got to try stuff. And you got to try multiple things, right? If you want to treat it like a business, you got to treat it like a business. It's the equivalent, if I wanted to open a restaurant... And I make a hamburger for a guy, and he's like, this hamburger sucks, and throws it on the ground. And I'm like, I quit. He didn't like my hamburger. But if I go down the road, I'll probably be like, oh, he's a vegan. Okay, he probably wouldn't like the hamburger. But that's how people treat their internet marketing. They don't go through, and they don't try things. Guys, you would probably be better off, with the exception of my products, 
buying a paid ad than you would going through a course because you're going to learn things. I learned more buying that ad with that preacher than I ever learned anything else. Back in 2003, actually 2002 to 2003, um, I was living in a apartment my girlfriend, wife now, at the time rented, and we were struggling to make ends meet. Like It was like $425 rent, and I had to make that. And I, I didn't have anything other than my magic gigs and my internet stuff. And I was buying traffic, right? So like, think about this. I can't afford $425 to buy ad, uh, to buy my rent or food and, you know, things like that. And I'm buying ads. Okay. Now everyone was like, you're nuts. What the hell are you doing? Go get a real job, you loser. And I was like, well, you know, it's all cool. I mean, I don't want a regular job. Nothing wrong with regular jobs. They're great. Uh, but I just, I wanted to do my own thing. And so I learned it and I ran this ad and here's the ad. I'll give you the ad and you can go use it. Right. So I had a search engine company. We got people ranked on the search engines. And by company, I mean, like feet, five feet with a computer right next to the bed. That, that was my company. And so I ran the ad and it said um, free search engine evaluation. It just had a big form and it said, what's your website? What's your name? What's this? What's your phone number? What's your email? And so I'd go through and I would do evaluations on people's site and I'd email them and I'd be like, hey, here we go. Boom, done deal. And I went through and did that. But the moral of the story is that I learned more doing that than any course. And I had bought courses and courses are good. But like some courses, you can't really learn something until you do it. Like if you want to teach someone how to ride a bike, they got to get on the bike and ride. I can't teach you how to balance and how to do this. It's all theory until you get on the bike. Everything's theory till you do it right now. There are some ways you can go through and learn from people who've done it before, and you got to focus on it. Okay, so here's how to make pay, here's how to make paid traffic work. Number one, remember, it's all a calculated numbers game. All. It's all calculated. If you don't like math, don't do paid traffic, please. Okay, got to focus on it. Got to look at it. All right. Number two, with paid traffic, you can get super fast direct response ads. Again, I could be up right away and I can do this. I could be up right away and I can do this. Uh, Business Solutions says, so we shouldn't buy your courses. Okay, I get it. Uh, well, I'm not here to beg you to buy my course. I'll be totally fine if you don't buy my course. I've been doing this for 21 years. Um, my courses are good, but yes, if you're going to go and buy a course, and learn from it, good. But you'll probably learn more doing the stuff, right? Like there's stuff on my YouTube here, go do it, test it out. Then come back and say, hey, this is how it works. And the name of the game is really to focus because one of the unique things that we do here at the Affiliate Marketing Dude that other people don't do is every Tuesday I fire up Zoom and I talk to my students. Right now, now you might look at this and be like, oh, whatever, another webinar. No, no, it's not another webinar. Those of you who are on the Tuesday call, type Tuesday call and tell me what you think of them. Because what we do is we fire it up and you tell me your sites. You tell me your ads. You come to me, you say, Marcus, what do you think about this keyword? What do you think about this bid price? Will that work with this? I say, yeah, yeah, maybe test it out. Test 10 bucks on it. Come back next week. Tell me how it does. And this is how we find winners. We go through and we're like, hey, that's a campaign. That, that's a winner. Right. So very important. Uh, the Tuesday calls come with most of the courses I have. Um, MarcusMentor.me, SimpleSitesBonus.com. Right. We're there every Tuesday. So like if you're not getting help, you're not showing up. Like that's it. You show up. I'm there every Tuesday. Sometimes there's like 12 people. Sometimes there's like 50. And we sold it to thousands. Show up. Show up every Tuesday. Well, you think if you show up every Tuesday, you're not going to learn something? You think you're not going to get farther than you need to get? I mean, come on now. All right, next up, how to make paid traffic work. It's all a calculated numbers game. It's super fast direct response, super fast direct response landing pages. Guys, you can get results very quickly. You could also lose money really quickly. Disclaimer, you could be like my friend. You can make the mojitos that taste like aftershave and you could do drunk bidding and you know, you're going to be kind of hammered there, right? No pun intended. But we got to look at that. We got to focus. We got to focus. We got to look at it. We got to understand it. Okay. Now, when doing this, it's very important that right up front, before you run your ad, 
Okay, this is something controversial. Very, very controversial. Uh, Serge, if you didn't get a link to the Tuesday call, all you got to do is go on our support site, ask for the link, she'll get it to you. All right, um, this is kind of controversial. People don't teach this, but I teach it because this is what I do for a living. All right, when running a paid ad, you have to ask yourself, am I going for long term or short term? And if you're liking this training, smash the like button. Let's see if we can get a record number of likes on this video while we're live and also put some comments and everything like that and subscribe, right? So sometimes with paid ads, you will want to do short term. But Marcus, all the gurus say that you need to build a mail. We got we to zoom in here. But Marcus, all the gurus say you need a mailing list. The only way to make money online is with a mailing list. That is not a fact. Okay, think about that. I've actually made probably half the money I've made came from non-mailing list sites. But Marcus, you're an internet guru. Don't you make all your money from teaching? No, I don't. I actually do what I teach, right? And we look at it, and most of the money came from short-term stuff. What is short-term? This is, oh, where'd it go? Control-Z. Nope, oh, we lost it. We'll have to draw that again, unless it's over here somewhere. Okay, we'll draw it again. I can do it. Long-term, short-term. Okay, now, by short-term... What we're doing is we're talking about a method called click flopping or also known as pay per click arbitrage. OK, everyone know what arbitrage is other than the movie. OK, arbitrage is where we buy low and sell high. Right. Stock market. You buy low, you sell high. Arbitrage. That's called stock market arbitrage. Uh, people do this with grain. They're like, we're going to buy grain for a dollar a pound and we're going to sell it for three bucks a pound. Pretty simple. Okay. Pay per click arbitrage is the same thing, only we're doing it digitally and we're doing it based on a bet. Right? It's a bet. I bet that if I pay two cents a click, I can make five cents a click. Now, this isn't a bet like a slot machine. This is a calculated bet based on what we think we could do. When I ran my Bible site, my football site, any site I run, okay, I go through and I say, what is the offer going to pay me? What's it going to pay me? $2 a download, 5 bucks a click, uh, $100 a sale. What's it going to pay? And then I do some math, which, by the way, if you don't have the Simple Sites course, go to simplesitesbonus.com because I actually have calculators for you, right? So if you want to do that, you just go to simplesitesbonus.com. Actually, in the Simple Sites Bonus course, there's an entire section on paid traffic. Like this here, right here, pay-per-click pro. It's all pay-per-click. These are good stuff. I actually go in, I run ads, everything. But at any rate, this is not about selling the course. I want to show you uh, the calculators we have. Um, what we have is we have little paid traffic calculators, and you could go through and you could calculate what you're estimated to earn. Okay? Worked really hard at it. Make it work in a really good way. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to look at it and say, what am I guessing I'm going to make? Now, some markets you're going to do this. There are companies out there that make hundreds of millions of dollars, and they're click floppers. They don't build a mailing list. They don't do all the fancy stuff. They're not gurus. They're not YouTubers. They're just out there buying traffic cheap on places like Taboola and selling it for more. Very simple. Or even Google or even whatever, right? So we look at it, and short term is a possibility, right? Now, the downside of short term, I'm going to put a heart here because I like it, and we'll put an arrow through the heart since it's almost valentine's day there we go yay all right which by the way i've made lots of money with valentine's day buy low sell high people looking up valentine's words are super cheap if you can get them to buy flowers download e-cards whatever you can make a lot of money you gotta understand this in a real way how many of you guys are having an aha moment and you're like dude this is pretty much the best training i've ever been on because you're teaching me everything laid out and i've paid far more than the zero dollars it costs to be here on far less Right? Some courses that charge you $1,000 don't even teach you the little intricacies. Oftentimes, it's because the people haven't been around long enough. you got to have someone who's been around a while and done a lot of stuff. So we look at this and we're like, okay, 
I can do this, I can get traffic cheap, I can sell it high. When we do this, we could do it with affiliate offers and stuff like that. And again, the downsides to this is your margins are low, okay? Um, like that Mojito dude, his margins were like 10%, which scares the crap out of me, right? For me, I'm like, dude, I don't wanna risk 50 grand a day to make 60 grand a day. Like that, that's a lot of risk for me, I don't like it. Personally for me, I like to be 50% or plus. Okay, if there's something running really good, I'll probably go as low as 30%. What that means is if I'm spending 100 bucks a day, I want to be putting 200 in my pocket or at least 150 in my pocket. Okay, he was like spend 100, put 110 in his pocket, which to me, that was pretty risky, but he was doing it to the tune of like 80 grand a day. Now, again, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. I want to show you that most people are not going to do this, but... $80,000 a day, there's people doing it right now. There ain't no difference from you and them other than the fact that they found something that worked. They found something that worked, okay? Now, the margins are kind of scary there, uh, and you only got one shot. If I'm doing click flopping, I got one shot to get him to buy, sell, download, fill out the form, whatever it is. Once he leaves, he's gone. So if you think you're gonna do brand building with pay-per-click, you better have a lot of money or you better think again, okay? And I have never done brand building with pay-per-click. I'm not Pepsi, I'm not Coke, I'm not Nike. I don't have the money to brand bid. I have the money to do direct response. You come to my site, I want you to do something right now. Right there. Okay, so we got to understand it and we got to look at how it's working. Okay, so that's the short term. Now, the long term is where you're going to go in and you're going to build something of value. I do this too. It depends on what? What does it depend on? Okay, I'm going to ask you guys a question. I want you to think. If I decide short term or long term, what does it depend on? What is the number one criteria that I look at? Okay, what am I, what, what is it that says short term, long term? which way are you gonna go? And if you get this right, you're gonna have an aha moment that's gonna change the way that you understand affiliate marketing. And I think this webinar training is gonna go a long time. So stick around, we got some more good stuff. We're only about a third of the way through, so I hope I got enough coffee. All right, the number one deciding factor is the keyword. If I have a keyword like funny, happy faces, and I can make money with it, I'm not gonna build a list. Why would I tamper it? And I had tried this. I, I was in a market where I was making five, $6,000 a day. And I'm like, I wonder if I should build a list like the guru said. And guess what? I put a, I put a box on there. I got 500,000 opt-ins in about two weeks. And I was like, ooh, list building works. But I wasn't making money. I was barely breaking even because having the opt-in made people leave without clicking the stuff that made me money. And the list was kind of useless because once they look up something like a background or, you know, whatever, it's not really going to do anything. All right. So sometimes, contrary to what all the other gurus are saying, sometimes you're just going to do some click flopping. Now, with the long term, we're going to build value and we'll say, hey, these are your markets like, uh, you know, um, maybe we'll go into mortgage or maybe we'll go into like weight loss or uh, train your dog or uh, whatever it is. OK, so we got to look at this. I gotta be like, okay, we're gonna differentiate what's gonna happen because if I can make one, two, three, four, five thousand dollars a day just click flopping, who's gonna turn that down? Right? As long as you're doing something ethical and good and above board, like who's gonna turn that down? Because some guy said you need to build a list. All right, now, full disclosure, the market I made a million dollars in was the MySpace market, is actually like two million. Uh, and MySpace is no longer popular. Okay, I've done it again in, you know, lottery and other ones that are popular, and I do it all the time. But, yes, at the end of the day, that site died. It died. It's, it's out back. We buried it out back. My friend who stole it, he buried his. Poor little site. Here lies Marcus's million-dollar site. Do I have any regrets? Yeah, probably that I didn't buy 10 times as much traffic and pocket as much money as I possibly could. But hey, sometimes you're going to do that. And there are businesses built on this model. 
right? That the people that are saying you don't really have a business if you don't build a list, that's like saying a gas station in the middle of nowhere isn't a real business. Okay? They never get repeat customers. Maybe one trucker comes back every 10 months. So is he a real business? Of course he's a real business. He's got gas, got people who want gas. He sells it, hence business. Okay? So you gotta look at that. Again, a lot of the things people teach you are setting you up to think the wrong way. Gotta think like a businessman where it's like, I'm gonna go through and make money, okay? Very simple. All right, so long-term value, what we're gonna do here is product sales and list building, okay? Very important. We look at this, we make it work. Now, the cool thing about paid traffic, you can build a list extremely fast. Extremely fast. Thousands of people a day if you want, okay? Again, you gotta pay for it, but what we're gonna do when we do this is we have to look at uh, what's called an SLO. Okay, SLO, write this down. S L O. This is called a self liquidating. That's how you spell liquidating because I'm not, I'm a math guy, I'm not a spelling guy. An offer, self liquidating offer. Okay, what a self liquidating offer is, is like the click flopping. You need to make money right away to cover your ads. Okay, I don't want to buy ads unless I'm making money right away or I know I'm gonna make money quickly. I don't wanna float a bunch. People come to me all the time. They say, Marcus, how much do I need to budget for paid ads? And I say, nothing, because it's an investment, not an expense. Yeah, but Marcus, how much do I need every month to make this work, to, to invest on ads? Again, nothing. I'll tell you another story. Uh, the year was 2004. I just bought my big house, which took a bunch of money out of my savings account. And I found this little offer and I started running it on paid traffic. And all of a sudden I was like, holy crap, I just spent like 10 grand in a couple of days and I need to spend more because I'm not going to get my check until 90 days from now. And so what am I going to do? And what happened is I had to float a bunch of money, which was very difficult. Um, and so we got to look at that. We don't want to float a bunch of money. Right? We want to get something that's going to pay us right away so that we can afford the ads. Ads should never be an expense. They should be an investment. Test it out daily. Look at your numbers daily. Figure out what you could do every day to make them better. Every day. Make it work. Focus. Structure it. You got to get the stuff in. And that's why we do the self-liquidating offer. Because guess what? If I could break even on an ad... I'll break even all day, every day, if I know there's a way to make money on the back end. All day, every day. I will spend as much as humanly possible because if I could break even and get people, then I'm just little tweaks away from making money or a mailing list away from making money or the right offer away from making money. And when you look at this, you got to focus, okay? Now, let's go back to our notes here. That was long-term versus short-term. Uh, if I covered that okay, let me know. If you want me to cover it more, we could go into it, but I think you get the idea. It's gonna depend on your keyword. It's gonna depend on where you're buying the ad. It's gonna depend on who your market is, right? Do you want to make long-term money or is it something you can make more on the front end? If I can make more on the front end, sometimes I will do that. If I make more on the back end, then I'll do that. Okay, very important. Got to run this and look at it and understand it. Now, part number four is all about pre-qualifying and selling more. Pre-qualifying and selling more. How do we pre-qualify our visitors? Well, when you go into your Google AdWords tool, the first pre-qualification is to go through and find your keyword. So like there's people on Google, they're searching for things all day, every day, which is great, wonderful, fantastic, but how are we gonna know who we want, right? I don't wanna just run an ad on the Google page and say, before you search, click this thing. I don't know who they are, I know what they want. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna pre-qualify them based on the keywords. Again, remember, it's about getting people to raise their hand. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna say whatever keyword we want, right? So let's say we wanna do um, letters, Right? What kind of letters do people want? You got hardship letters, you got alphabet letters, you got all kinds of things. Now, when using the Google Keyword Tool, their lexicon is a little bit different 
So you're gonna see that they're gonna say letters and these don't all have letters. So what we could do is we can add a filter and we could say the filter is the keyword and I want it to say letters, okay? This is called keyword filtering. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna do text match because I want it to say letters. I don't want the alphabet, I want letters. This is important when you use your trigger words, okay? So let's go ahead and go here, letters. Keyword text contains letters and reset. Let's try this again. Sometimes it likes to be a pain in the butt. So we'll do letters and we'll do contains text match apply. There we go. So now see how it says letters here. So now this is going to get us into a whole different market. Now, if you see the numbers of average search uh, volumes like this, this is because you don't have a running ad. This is my test account. I don't have a running ad in this account for obvious reasons, right? And so we go through the test account and we're like, okay, uh, we look at these things and, and it gives you a range of searches, which is good enough, right? I can go off this, say, uh, yeah, 10,000. If it says like five visitors or 100 to 1,000, you're not gonna get any traffic on that. So I could go through and I could find out, you know, what do people wanna search for? I could go through and I could look up whatever keywords I want and the key is to be creative. So your keyword is your first qualifier. First qualifier. How am I gonna qualify them? Well, if they're typing in mortgage, all right, typing in mortgage, then we're gonna go through and we're gonna say, get rid of the filter. Where's our filter? Usually, there we go. Uh, if they're typing in mortgage, obviously they're interested in mortgages. Nobody in their right mind, other than weird internet marketer people like me, type in mortgages <coughs> if they're not looking for a mortgage. They just don't do it. So that's pre-qualifier number one. Pre-qualifier number two, is going to be your ad text. Again, remember, you write the ad. You are the person who writes the ad. It's your job. Tell them what you wanna say. Mortgage rates, 2%. Mortgage rates, 5%. Mortgages for people with bad credit. There's a good pre-qualifier, right? So we look at this and we can pre-qualify number one with the keyword. Number two, they raise their hand again and say, yeah, I'm gonna click your ad. It says bad credit. So now I got mortgage. Now I know they got bad credit. Now they're on my website. What am I gonna do with them? Well, uh, maybe I could have a guide. Free guide shows you how to get a mortgage with bad credit. Or maybe I could have options. How bad is your credit? By the way, options make people click. Getting people to click makes people do other things on your site. People doing other things on your site makes you money. People miss this because they're so focused on how do I get what I want? Forget about what you want. Think about what this mortgage guy wants. What does he want? Now that he clicked your ad that said bad credit, what does he want? Do you want your silly ebook? Does he want your this? Does he want to call a phone number? Or does he want to click options? Very important. We've got to understand. We've got to look at it. And we've got to focus. Okay? Now, we're going to go through. We're going to look at this stuff and say we're going to pre-qualify. Now, when we write our ad, we can pre-qualify them, which means our visitors come to us already vetted. Right? Like if I'm sitting here and I want traffic, I want someone else to do the work of finding the people that are going to buy my stuff. That's what I want to do as a marketer. I mean, that's the name of the game. If I get people who want to buy my stuff and they're on my site, the chances of them buying my stuff is going to be better than if they just come from anywhere. People don't get this. They don't understand it. They focus on just clicks or, or just website. You got to focus on the whole picture. Zoom out. Say, what's the ad say? What's this say? What's this say? How do they get to my site? How does it work? Now, when they're on your site, you can pre-qualify them even more. Again, here's the thing people don't like about internet marketing. They don't like it because all the balls are in your court. They're all in your court. You decide the keyword. You decide the ad. You decide how much you're gonna spend. You decide what your website says. You decide all this stuff. It's up to you. And some people look at this and they're like, oh my God, I'm so overwhelmed, what am I gonna do? Well. You're going to focus, you're going to look at what people want, you're going to get the offers you know will pay you, and you're going to put them in front of people. And people ask me all the time, and say, Marcus, do one-page websites still work? Yeah. If you can find the right traffic method for a one-page website, you can make good money if you do it right. You can make really good money. It's called a splash page. been using them since, I think, 1999 was when I made my first splash page. 
right? Very important. So we go through and we do that. And we say, how do we do this? We make it work. Focus on the traffic we want. Focus on the message we want to say. Get the people to click the link. People forget that the more people who click your affiliate link, the more money you're going to make, the more chances you have. The more people that are pre-qualified to your website, the more action you're going to get. And to get the action, you got to get them over there in a manner that tells them what you are going to give them. Come to my site because you're going to get X. If you did not watch yesterday's video, which was about uh, the landing pages, okay, it ties into this. So after this training, go watch that. That video talked about how to pre-qualify them and how to get them in there and say, this is what you want. That video, I worked really hard on it. Watch the entire thing. Maybe watch it a couple times because you're going to get an aha moment that you need to have to make this work. Okay, next landing pages that work on paid traffic. And again, if you're just tuning in and you want my notes, go to downloadmynotes.com. You can go there, you can get the notes from this video. We will have them ready for you uh, probably at the end of the day. Just gotta do some work, make them fancy. All right, so landing pages that work on paid traffic. Number one, when you're doing paid traffic on Google and any paid search engine, you're gonna have what's known as a quality score. They are going to automatically evaluate your site based on the relevance to the keyword that you're bidding on. Pretty simple. It's like SEO, but not for SEO purposes. Okay, so they're gonna go through and be like, okay, um, we need to make this relevant. So if I bid on the word, how to lose weight, and my site says, um, new pill helps you lose weight. Okay, is that relevant or not? Maybe not because they're looking for how to lose weight, so maybe an article about how to lose weight would do better. Okay, very, very, very important. Uh, Jonathan, yes, that landing page video was yesterday on my YouTube, you could see it here. Um, and subscribe, click the bell, there's tons of videos like that. All right, so landing pages, you gotta have the good quality score, you gotta focus. A lot of people try to cut corners, they try to just slam their message in front of people, and that's not what's gonna work. Uh, Review Ranch says, is keyword intent per important? Yes. Keyword intent of the people searching needs to match what your landing page says. Plain and simple, okay? Now, what doesn't work? Skimpy pages, one pagers, probably not gonna work on Google. One pagers, probably not gonna work on Facebook and Bing. Um, one pagers on Taboola and stuff? Yeah, I'd probably kick ass over there. One pagers on a banner ad? Sure, I could buy banners all day long. That guy doesn't care what I uh, link them to as long as it's not, you know, something shady. Um, so I can go through and I can get away with stuff in other places. And again, pay-per-click, we need to look at it as a whole because I don't really care where I buy it. Like, it doesn't matter to me. People get so funny about this and they're like, I only want to buy Facebook traffic. And I'm like, why? Well, some guy on YouTube said Facebook traffic. I'm like, dude, you don't, you don't even know what you're running. You just come to me with all these Facebook questions and you have no idea what you're talking about. I don't care. I will buy traffic from Bob the traffic guy. He doesn't exist. It's fake, right? He might exist. I don't know. But I just made that up. But I'll buy it from anyone if I can get the traffic. I don't care. As long as it's the traffic I want that turns a profit, I don't care what the label is. People get so hung up on, oh, got to buy traffic from this, got to buy. Well, MSN's not as big as Google. Yeah, is there enough traffic on MSN for you to make a living? Hell to the yeah. Times five, right? Yes, there's tons. Tons of stuff. And, you know, MSN is a little bit more friendly than the Google AdWords. Um, it's a little bit easier, right? By friendly, I mean you get away with a little bit more. And by get away with, I don't mean shady stuff. I mean it's just not as strict, right? There's different keywords and things that we can use. Uh, also, side note when doing paid traffic, do not bid on trademark terms. Just don't do it. Don't bid on them. Don't put them in your title. Don't touch them with a 10-foot pole. You don't need to. There's tons of other stuff. Um, very important. When you do the banner ad, you send them to your one-pager or two-pager or whatever. And again, you can do that in a really cool way. Uh, your landing page needs to focus primarily on conversion, fast conversion. Like I'm talking now, okay? One thing people don't know about me is I'm an impatient maniac when it comes to my sites. Like literally, you talk to me. Those are the days I don't make dinner. When I'm making a new site, I'm like, someone needs to figure out what to order for dinner. I'm the designated chef here um, because I'm doing this. 
and I run an ad and I watch it and I have a program where I watch the people come in. I'm like, here's this guy. Okay, he came from this. Here's this guy. Here's this guy. How many people are here? Why are they leaving? What are they doing? Because that's how you're going to crack the code. You're going to crack the code by learning about your market and making an educated guess. Okay, and you say, okay, this offer pays $100. I could get traffic for five cents. How close is the keyword to the offer? All right, the keyword is, um, you know, law of attraction PDF, and the offer is a PDF toolbar. Okay. It's, it's a miss because it's like it's a toolbar, but it has to do with PDF, so maybe we can make it convert, okay? And sometimes things that seem like they're a miss are going to be your biggest earners. And we look at it, we say, okay, how close is it? Uh, guy looking for hardship letter for mortgage, okay? Refinance offer, again, it's not direct, like hardship letter for mortgage. If I could get paid to give you a hardship letter, that's perfect. I know that'll convert. Right? If I got paid like $3 to give you a hardship letter and all you got to do is download it, of course that'll work. Like years ago, um, there was a coupon by a major uh, glasses store, like eyeglasses, and it was $0.75 cents per download. They download the coupon, I get $0.75. Cents. Yay, great. I was like, okay, I can make this work. Now, knowing what I know, I was like, $0.75, cents, I need to get traffic less than $0.10. Cents. If I don't get it less than 10 cents, it's not going to work. And I was able to get it for 10 cents and I made some money and then the offer went away in like three days because I made too much money, but I still got paid, which is cool. And so we got to look at this and you got to look at how close your offer is to why they came there. Okay. Now, if it's not that close, you need to get paid more. If it's directly targeted to why they came there, then you can make less, right? You could, you could do this with $2 payout, $1 payout if it's closely matched. It's all about conversion. Again, in the Simple Sites course at simplesitesbonus.com, um, there's a calculator and there's a pay-per-click training. And with the Tuesday calls, you can come on and ask what I think, right? That's the benefit of it is I love talking marketing. I could do this all the time. People are like, why do you make so many videos and webinars? I like marketing and I also like making money. And when I do these, you guys buy my stuff, which is pretty cool, right? And we got to look at it and say, hey, I love talking marketing. And you come on every Tuesday, you ask me about your stuff and we'll help you with it, uh, which is cool. Uh, Review Tech said, I saw a guy make over 100,000 with misspelled keywords. Yes, I made a fortune with misspelled keywords. Does it work today? No. Google does autocorrect. Most things do autocorrect. So you got to look at that. You got to understand. You got to focus. Okay. Uh, next up, conversion. Your landing page needs to convert. It needs to convert now, not tomorrow, not next week now right now okay uh disclaimer misspelled words can work if the lexicon hasn't found them yet i want to throw that out there because you can do that all right um content and links so we want to structure our stuff and again watch the video yesterday we want to structure our stuff so that our content is designed to sell the stuff right i'm not in this to provide good content like you guys look at this you're like marcus is great he's providing good value yeah i'm providing value because I want you to buy stuff. I want you to subscribe. I want you to get on the Tuesday calls. Like, here's an agenda there. All right, I'd like to say, oh, I'm this philanthropic guy that just teaches everyone free. No, it's a business. I make money. If you learn something free, that's a byproduct. That's pretty cool, right? But I find that, hey, if I teach you good stuff, you're going to do this. The content is structured to make the money. Same with my websites and my landing pages. I'm going to make that content. I'm going to give them the info they need only after they go through the stuff that I want them to see, which is the stuff that makes me money. Again, watch that landing page video from yesterday. Watch it again if you already watched it. If you didn't get the aha moment, you need to have it, okay? So um, those are the landing pages that work. Very simple. Now, in part number six, this is when you go through and you're like, okay, it's time to test. And people say, what kind of budget do I need? Marcus, do I need 1,000 a month, 10,000 a month? What do I need? To make paid traffic work well you need 300 clicks we got but marcus how much money is it well if you're paying 10 cents a click 30 bucks paying a dollar a click 300 bucks if you're paying this that's that's your budget that's your starting budget now with that said again remember your old buddy, or your old buddy marcus here is a maniac when he runs a new ad even when I run a solo ad, like I sit there, I have a live chat software on my site and I watch people come in. 
I'm like, what the hell's going on here? All right, that guy left. He left three seconds after coming to my site. I better change something. This guy didn't do this. And I literally check it. That's how I know my site made money 13 minutes after I set it up because I was hitting there. A buddy of mine used to work for me and um, he would call me F5. I'm like, what's up, F5? And I'm like, why do you call me F5? He's like, because you're the refresh guy. You sit there on your affiliate accounts and you hit refresh when you run an ad to see how much money you make. Right? Like, I literally, I'm like, here's MSN, here's Google, here's uh, this. It's like a stockbroker. Right? If they just went to bed as a day trader, it's called day trader because you get up and you trade all day. It's not called day trader because you sit on your butt and wait for things to happen. Right? They're sitting there, they're glued to the screen. They're like, okay, let's see how it works. Now, the cool thing about this is once I do my 300 click test, I know what my market wants and I adjust. And once I get one that wins, I check it twice a day, three times a day, maybe more. And I scale it and I grow it and I build it. But you're never going to get it if you expect overnight this is going to work right now. Okay? Can it work right now? Yeah, it can. It can work right now. Can you get money like right away? Yeah, you can. Will you? 99.9% .9 of the people with a bar over it, you know that bar that keeps the nine going for the rest of the life? Most of the people will not. You probably won't. And guess what? You'll probably lose money on your first ad. Probably will. Maybe a little bit. Hopefully you're not like Mojito Man, right? You go in and you make it work. Now, the reason we do 300 click is because I used to do a 100 click test, which I still do. Like when I do a 300 click test, I'm watching it. I don't like go to bed and wake up with 300 clicks. All right, again, I'm a maniac. I watch it. I refresh it. I check what they're doing and I tweak things accordingly. This is how I make this stuff work. When I did the lottery site, we got so much traffic coming in really fast that I was paying three to four cents a click for. I needed to tweak it and be like, okay, put this here. Put that there. Put this here. And it was the difference between making sales and not sales. Because when you get massive traffic, you can really tweak these things like, like that. That's why you need to know what you're doing. You got to go through. You got to learn this stuff. Um, the 300 will give you a good range. Uh, the reason I do 300 is because not everyone on your landing page is going to go to the offer. Right? So if I get 300 to my offer or my landing page, let's say I get 100 to my offer. You need 100 clicks to tell how an offer is really going to do, right? If I send 100 clicks to something and I get 10 conversions, that's a good barometer of how it's going to work. It's not guaranteed, but it's a good barometer. If I send 100 clicks and no one does anything, then I'm like, what the hell? So that's why I need 300. Now, sometimes, like the Bible site, 99% of the people that went to my Bible site clicked the offer. 90, like, think about that. 99%. That's unheard of. And... We show you how to do that on some other videos and in the course. And you can come on the Tuesday call and ask about that, and I'll show you. But we go through it. Uh, Anthony says, how many tests to find a winner? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to make an educated guess. It's like being a scientist, right? And you're like, here's my hypothesis. I henceforth and hitherto think one out of 100 people will buy this thing. Okay? Good. I henceforth and hitherto think I can get traffic for less than half of the cost of the thing. Okay, good. So you have an educated guess, and you look at if it's going to work. Okay, this is why if you're not in the Simple Sites bonus, and you're not on the Tuesday calls, and you want to do paid traffic, like forget about the course. Like, you don't even log into the course. You should, because there's good stuff. But show up on the Tuesday call and say, Marcus, I want to run this ad on this keyword. Here's my landing page. And I'll tell you right then and there, nope, that's not going to work. And I'll tell you why it's not going to work. And I'll tell you how to make it work. And you go test it and you say, hey, this is what do. people do all the time. Got to go show up. Got to do the stuff and make it work, which is very, very simple and easy if you focus. Again, you got to be willing to get your, your hands dirty. You get your feet wet. You got to work it. You got to go through and say, what do I think these people will respond to? What do I think they're going to do? Uh, case in point, how many of you guys have been watching a lot of my videos lately? Right? You've been watching a lot of my videos. I've been working very hard at growing my channel organically. And I noticed that a video that took off that I was excited about started taking off, but it got traffic from countries that don't have the means to buy my product. 
right? Like most of the traffic was from countries that didn't have, they couldn't afford my product. And so I was like, wait a minute. So I'm excited about this traffic that's not exactly what I want, right? So what we need to do is we need to focus on who we want. That's why I love paid traffic. To focus on who I want. Focus on exactly what I want. Uh, Review Ranch says, if you get 100 to the offer from 300, do you also have a way of monetizing the other 200? In a perfect world, yeah. Some, some niches, no. Some niches, there'll be one offer and that's it, right? Some you'll have a couple. Some you'll have a bunch. Some you'll build a list. It's going to depend on the market. And it's very, very important to focus on that. Because if you're not focused on the market and how they're clicking and what they're doing, it's not going to work. And also, in the Simple Sites course, we have tools that track this for you. These are tools that I built for me. Like, I actually paid programmers over $100,000 to build these for me, for my sites, because I didn't want to use outside stuff. I wanted my own. Um, and they work. They make the things on your site that are going to work. And guess what? I do this with WordPress. Right? There you go. WordPress. I go on WordPress, and it's free, and I set up a landing page, and it converts, and it works in a very simple way way very simple way okay and if you guys haven't seen my trigger word training google marcus campbell trigger word or go to uh, downloadmynotes.com you can go get it on there the trigger words will show you how to find niches also we set up a free resource for you guys i don't know if you guys saw it the profitscoop.com this is a free resource we're working on. My programmer's actually working on cool stuff right now. It's designed to sell my stuff, so we're going to have some things on here where you can buy my stuff. But you could go to the Profit Scoop, and you can get info on trends. We have, the, like, the latest trend up here. We had football the other day. Uh, we have Valentine's Day now. It'll actually go through, and it'll do the research, show you the keywords. we got affiliate offers you can run. We show you the keywords. I mean, come on. Like, literally, we're giving you the farm here. And you could go there and learn that stuff. Um, this is a site. If you are not using the Profit Scoop, you need to use it daily. Like, every, every morning, get your coffee, go to the Profit Scoop, drink your coffee, learn the stuff. It's there. This is a free resource that I'm paying lots of money to make for you guys um, because I make a lot of money as an affiliate marketer when you use this stuff. And you'll probably buy my products after you're like, hey, this is pretty cool. So we got to go through and look at it, and it's really cool. Uh, what about domain WordPress visitor tracking? I don't use WordPress.com. I use my own self-hosted WordPress. To set up your own site, go to gohubsite.com, uh, and you can get that. Okay? So... That's what you want to do with paid traffic. You want to understand it. You want to see how it works. You want to go in and find keywords that other marketers don't know exist. That's the key to making it work. Like if I could convert people looking for happy face, I win because no one knows how to do that. If I can convert people looking for how to tie a tie, I win. If I could convert people, and there are millions of keywords looked up every day that have no ads, none. And when I say, can you get traffic for four cents, two cents, whatever, you can get it cheaper than that. You got to go where the other marketers are not going. You got to be creative and think. Guy looking up happy faces, which, by the way, your old buddy here made seven figures with happy faces. Think about that. All the other marketers are like, you need a buyer market. You got to have, we need to zoom in. Here we go. Dramatic effect. You gotta have a buyer market. You gotta have buyers. If they're not buying, you ain't getting paid. That's crap. That's crap. Most of my money is in non-buyer, non-guru, non-fancy markets. Right? Can it, are buyer markets easy? Sure. Of course. Can you make money in, in buyer markets? Of course. People buy stuff, obviously. But what if I can make money like the best way to dice a tomato or the best way to dice an onion okay think about this Here, here's a test for those of you who've stuck around this entire call here's the test how would you make money on how to dice a tomato okay how would you do that type your answers in the box and I'll see if I can find the offer that I have in mind. How would you do that? Right? I'd promote like a kitchen knife or a slicer as seen on TV product. 
All right, and you could get how to dice a tomato for like three cents. Got to know how to structure your content and you got to focus and you got to make it work. All right, for those of you who want to learn more, downloadmynotes.com is where you can get the notes. Simplesitesbonus.com is where you can get the course that walks you through literally everything. It's got tools. It's got the Tuesday calls. It'll teach you everything. Now, on Saturday, if you want to learn how to make landing pages that convert on paid traffic, this is where you want to go. Business Solution says a special knife at Amazon. No, I would not ever promote Amazon on paid traffic directly. Not in a million years. They don't pay me enough. That's a tip. You guys, a lot of people come to me with that question. Got to focus on it. Okay. Um, for those of you who want to learn more on Saturday, I'm going to fire up my Zoom webinar for four hours, and I'm going to teach you how to make landing pages that convert on paid traffic. Teach you how to do it in WordPress. We're going to give you tools so you can build them. So you don't have to pay $200 a month for funnel building softwares and fancy pants suites. Right? We're going to go through. We're going to focus. So if you want that, don't sign up yet because I'm going to give you guys a discount on this call. Okay? You could go to landingpagedude.com right like this. And what I'm going to do is on this call, so right now it's 227 for the four-hour webinar, the recording, the tools, everything. What I'm going to do is I am going to give you guys 120 bucks off if you order on this call. So landingpagedude.com, I'm going to reload the page. You can get this training um, Saturday. We're going to fire it up. If you can't make it Saturday, don't worry. Uh, landingpagedude.com, don't worry if you can't make it. We'll give you the recordings. We'll give you the tools, everything. So, the reason I dropped the price 120 bucks, I want you to take your other 100 bucks and I want you to buy some traffic. Okay, that's how passionate I am. And I'm actually going to show you, like when you set up sites, we'll show you how to get coupons for it and everything. So, it's like even better than that. So, go through, make it work, show up on the calls, do the stuff you got to do. Let's take some questions. Okay. A guy who found out he could get the word puppy names for dirt cheap rather than dog training, which is expensive. In 12 months, he's in the same market. Puppies become dogs. Exactly. And guess what? If I was in the market for puppy names, which is three cents a click, who knows what I'd promote? All right, this is going to get fun. Who knows what I'd promote? Puppy names. Would I promote dog treats, dog food, dog houses, pet supply? What would I promote? Okay. I would promote, and we'll block this guy here. I would promote pet insurance. Pet insurance. Why? Because you got this beautiful little puppy, and what if something happens to him? And pet insurance pays really, really well. And if you look at that, it will work. Uh, talking about landingpagedude.com, what's the difference between paid and free traffic for landing pages? Well, there is none, okay? You need to learn how to build landing pages for paid traffic. This is why I'm successful. I had to learn with paid traffic. Up until about 2006, uh, I was doing free traffic, and I wasn't good at converting, and I lost a lot of money that I could have made. I was still making money, but I lost it because I, the opportunity cost of not knowing what I was doing was very high. Now that I did paid traffic, I was like, holy crap, I need to convert every visitor. And because of that, there are people in niches that I'm in that get 10, 20 times as much traffic as me. And we make the same amount because I learned to build landing pages for paid traffic. So forget about paid free, learn them on paid, adapt them to the free. If you can get that, boom, you're going to win. Very important. Uh, money code webinar, I, we're trying to schedule that. I've had a little bit of a scheduling issue. Um, hopefully, we'll get it done this, this week. Uh, Quora ads, yeah, you could buy ads on Quora ads. I have not tried them, um, but you can try them. All right, guys, any other questions? Again, landingpagedude.com. You can go there, sign up here if it's your first product with me. Come on in, say hi, uh, join the Tuesday calls. We'll give you a month of Tuesday calls with this. And um, you can hang out, get all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, I think you're going to find that the support that we have is unparalleled. Right? Like, we're there all the time. Every Tuesday, you know where I'm at. And you go in and make it work. Uh, the landing page class, I believe we have set up for 1 o'clock Eastern time. 
Uh, Sarge, if you got a strategy session with me, use our support site. They'll help you with it. Okay. She's there right now. She'll help you with it. All right. Cool deal. Landingpagedude.com. Um, I can honestly say probably going to be the best course you ever join. Best 97 bucks. Because if you learn to build landing pages, you just go get traffic, you plug and play, and you're done. Like, there you go. You're like, hey, there it is. A done deal. Like, that's it. Game over. You win. Like, uh, what was it? On uh, Back to the Future. Sorry, McFly. You lose. Or sorry, old man. You lose. <laughs> they lost. But you win if you do it right. Okay. I did a similar in the old days on eBay. Yeah, eBay. Uh, I did some ads for eBay back in the day. Um, Blog Profit Network program. Blog Profit Network is an older program. Um, so do one of the newer ones. How do we get access to the Tuesday calls if we have landing page, dude? I'll send it to you. Yeah, you'll get an email. I'll just shoot it to you. It'll be like, hey, show up on this. And uh, we'll get you rocking and rolling there. And yeah, landing page dude's going to be awesome. Like, you just go in, you learn it. Um, what you learn will also translate to free traffic. So I think it's, it's very important. Uh, Alexander, if I have simple sites, do I need landing page dude? Uh, you don't need it. Uh, however, it might be helpful. Like there is a landing page page uh, portion in Simple Sites. This is a standalone, so I think, you know, it, it's up to you. Like I don't I don't want to make you buy a whole bunch of stuff that's, that if you already have stuff. Um, but I think it'll help. MJ, what's your question? I don't see your question. All right, cool deal. Yeah, and that's gonna be. Um, you know, you just you just go do it. Like once you learn this, if you can get free traffic, paid traffic, whatever, it's going to show you how to convert. And conversion is everything is everything. Like if you took me and you said, Marcus, we're going to wipe your brain of memory. And you get to keep one thing. It'd be how to build a landing page. it would be it. How to build a landing page. There you go. Because if I know that, then I can go and I can build the landing page for whatever. Uh, yeah, MJ. Type your question in again because they go really fast. All right, and we're going to change the price on the landing page, dude, in just a little bit. So if you do want that discount, uh, make sure you get in there now. I think this has been a fun webinar. You guys digging this? Smash that like button if you're digging it. Let's get a record number of likes. Uh, Crystal, yes, this is a the landing page, dude, is a four hour training on Saturday. It will be recorded, so if you can't make it, don't worry, where I teach you everything about how to make landing pages that convert. Okay, so, like, that's, it is so important because this is where people get it wrong. MJ says, I think Medium doesn't work anymore for free SEO traffic because it gives you a subdomain instead of using a domain. Is this right? That is wrong. Medium does work. And the way you know is because Medium still shows up in the search engines. Right? Like, a lot of people are like, does that still work, Marcus? That site on Google, it's on the top. Does it still work? Well, it's on the top, so it must work, right? Um, pretty cool. John says, what's the difference between my high-ticket niches and Simple Sites Big Profits? Uh, the high-ticket niche is where I pick your niche for you. I buy your domain. I build your site. Like, that's the big kahuna. Like, if you're like, hey, dude, I want Marcus to help me with this stuff. Um, that's, that's the best way to go if you can. Um, but you know, just, uh, join where you can get the other stuff later. Like if all you could do is watch my free videos on YouTube, there's plenty of stuff here to, to help you. But if you're like, dude, I want to show up on Tuesday and ask you a question, then, you know, join the other stuff or you want the landing or you want me to build your site or whatever. Um, check out the other stuff as well. Landing page dude is done in WordPress. Yes, you can translate it. To whatever else you want but you know you can do it jonathan says mj i have articles on medium and it's getting traffic from google there you go can the shortener be used on multiple pages what shortener what are we talking about uh, okay great you know your stuff i appreciate everything you do thanks yeah and a lot of people are like markers are so smart i've just been doing this 21 years like whatever you did the last 21 years i guarantee you do it better than i did Right? So I just do this. Like, I, I truly think that everyone has the same amount 
of, of knowledge. It's just what you choose, right? Some people are experts in celebrity gossip. And by the way, if you are, go make a site about it. You can make a lot of money. Uh, some people are experts, like my brother. You give him a drum set, the dude knows everything. Oh, this lug nut was from 1982 and the great, you know, Black Sabbath used to use this. And he knows everything. Me, I chose to learn about website stuff. So that that's why it seems like I know my stuff, just because I've been doing this for what seems like forever, right? Um, is Google Sites free? You can make a Google Site free, yeah. Um, you know, uh, why would you want to? Especially if you're doing paid traffic. If you're running paid traffic to a free website, don't. Don't. Do not do it. Why? Because if the, the free website goes down, get shut off. Like, literally, we're talking about something where I've had a website go down when I'm running an ad, and it costs money every time it's down. So you got to focus. Uh, do your plugins have the ability to A-B test? Not at the same time, but you can pause things and put new ones up and test them. All right. Frio says, I said it before and I'll say it again, best affiliate content on YouTube. We strive for that. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell. How do you do a paid traffic to landing page if there's no content on the landing page? If there's no content, you will probably get hit with a quality score. So you will need to make content if you're going to buy traffic on a place that's strict about it. If they're not strict about it, it doesn't matter. Like if he'll just let me send it anywhere, then it doesn't matter. Okay, Crystal, I've just been learning since 2007 and getting an understanding. Lost a lot of time. Yeah, and a lot of it you just need to unlearn. So yeah, I was looking for, this from MJ, I was looking for a flight keyword. The competition was low in some areas and the offer was good, but the thing is, Google has a feature to allow others to book flights. Well, go to Bing, right? There you go. Um, and you're only paying for traffic anyway, so, you know. But I'll give you a tip. Here's a tip. You guys want a tip? We're going to go to the Ahrefs keyword tool. I'm going to show you something cool, all right? There was a uh, flight toolbar. I don't know if it's still around. It was a flight toolbar uh, that you could promote, and it paid like $2 a download. And this niche, it would work in. Right? What we're going to do is we're going to go to our Ahrefs keyword tool. Watch this. You guys ready for something? You guys stuck around for a long time. There's still a lot of you guys hanging out. Here is how to get cheap traffic. You could go and you could do cheap flights. Flights. Flyja hits. Right? Cheap Flyja hits. $1.90 a click. Really competitive. Oh my gosh. Marcus is full of it. Well, am I? Let's take a little look here, fella. How about SFO to MCO? Ha! Huh, it's easy. Now, it says it's $2 a click, but we're going to do what I call the BS test. And we're going to see if there's any ads. Okay, he's got the block here. No ads here. No ads at the bottom. Two ads on page two and some ads down here. So not that many ads. We can even go to Bing and we can look it up. SFO to MCO, right? And think about it, like seriously, there's so many keywords like this. You think about every airport in the world, come on now, like you gotta think different. That's what this is about. All right, so you could actually get traffic pretty cheap here. And you know, if you wanted to do free traffic on this, it would probably warrant it as well. All right. Uh, can you save this stream? Yeah, these streams are automatically, as soon as I'm done here, it'll be on YouTube. So you're good to go. Domain shortener. Uh, we have a tool. If you get landing page, dude, I'll give you my domain shortener free. It's a good one. Um, it's good because it's based on... Um, it's based on your domain. So instead of like, you know, bit.ly dot whatever, it's going to be mysite.com slash whatever I want, which is important. All right, if you have an, an error ordering the landing page, just let us know later on um, and we'll fix it for you. All right, downloadmynotes.com, landingpagedude.com. I'm gonna change that back uh, here in just a couple of minutes. So if you do wanna join that, now is the time. We will send you the link later on uh, for signing up for the call on Saturday. And you guys are great. 
best YouTube audience ever. Love hanging out. Love talking marketing. Hope you learned something new. If you didn't, maybe watch it again because I think there's a lot to go. Uh, any advice for converting the products? Uh, no, um, that's... I don't like teaching you how to sell make money online products. Like that's my own personal conviction. I don't want you guys to be in the make money niche. One, because I, I don't agree to the whole circle jerk of buy my product to promote my product to promote my product to buy my product. Like I don't do that. If you wanna be an affiliate of mine, you need to ask me, I need to tell you what you're gonna do, or you need to tell me what you're gonna do. You can only promote it after I talk to you. I don't want everyone promoting it. I don't want you guys all in the make money niche. One, why would you compete against people that have been doing this for a long time? That's the first thing. Two, some of that stuff can be kind of shady, so be careful with it. Why not promote this other stuff? Why not promote something simple? Again, the takeaway from this training, you choose. You choose your niche. You choose your keyword. You choose what you promote. Why not choose something easy? A lot of you guys are like kicking your own butt. You're like, this is so hard. I'm like, yeah, because you're kicking your own butt. Pick something simple. I want to be a big fat fish in a tiny little pond. That's what I want to be. Why? Because it's easy. It's simple. Go through. Boom. Here we go. Escape by the radar. No one knows. Simple. And we do it. Um, if you can't make it Saturday, a recording will be sent out to you. The best link shortener to use is uh, the AMD tracker, which is Affiliate Marketing Dude Tracker. It's part of uh, my stuff. I, I, don't, I think we might have a free download on the site for a basic version of it. I don't know. You have to look around for it. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. Have fun. Let's make some money. Subscribe. Click the bell. Smash the like button. Give me lots of comments.